Good morning, guys. We're getting some gas, hitting the road, and uh, we're gonna see if we can check off a few boxes for the June scavenger hunt today. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. Uh, it's, it's conditions actually look like they're just gonna get better and better as the day goes on. And we got bluebird skies right now. Clouds are supposed to come in. It's supposed to get some more wind, um, and uh, this should be really good. So I'm looking forward to it. Let's see what we got. Look at you, buddy. Are you the one that jacked up this plastic? I think you are. I'm gonna let you go like this, buddy. Oh, got a bunch of blue yellow beds here. All right, okay. Not mad at that. Huh. I should mean. Now they're setting up to spawn. My God. Second species of the day. Little baby largemouth. Let them go. Let them grow. So, I'm making a move to the other side of the lake. The wind is blowing me right into this, uh, this bank and I've fished quite a bit of it. I've only caught a couple of small bass and, uh, and a bunch of panfish, um, a bunch of bluegill. There's beds right up by the launch. I found a, a ton of bluegill beds and they are uh, they're getting ready to get busy and uh, they're very, very active. So. Um, I'm gonna go across the way like right now. I'm in about 60 feet of water and on my sonar I've, I see nothing below me. It's just fast emptiness um, Water temps are in the low 70s 71 72 and You know, we'll see we'll see what happens, but I don't know so far. I'm not impressed. We'll see There's a bass. There's a small bass right there. That was the craziest eat I've seen in a forever. <clears throat> so, ooh, thank you. So that's a little vote of confidence, man. He had this tail all the way down his throat already. Damn. So this little largemouth right here, super tiny little bastard. Like I said, this guy here gives me a lot of confidence in this tiny little bait. You know, it's three inches long. This fish is probably 10 inches in total. Peace, buddy. But if he ate this, there's other stuff that's gonna eat this. The quest just continues. We just gotta find these better fish um, and the right species that can actually put something on here. I think there's white perch in here and I could certainly use a white perch. Oh, it's a big bass right there. Let's a look at that.
It's a little bit better, buddy. <laughs> Well, that was much better. Let's go ahead and measure this guy. I think that ups my inches a bit. You guys are welcome, by the way. New shorts. You know, no more close calls. You know, you know what I'm saying? I already have a large mouth, but it will at least increase my overall inches, uh, which is great. He's freaking out. Uh, I have a, actually, currently, I think I have a really small large mouth. I think I have like a 12 or a 13. I'm not sure what this is going to come in as. Um, but let's go ahead. We'll, let's, we'll take a look. We'll see what we got. Oh, actually, let me get my, my phone ready, my camera and everything for all this. I'm getting some awful text messages from a friend right now who had to put his dog down and it's a weird sort of position of sympathy and wow, this is a great fish actually. This is a really good fish. Better than I had anticipated, to be perfectly honest. I'll go ahead and we'll get a good measurement here. I got you, all right? The phone right here. I got you. You're good. All right. It's a much, much better fish. Uh, put them back in here. That's quite a bit better. We'll definitely take that. Let's take a look at this fish. Beautiful, beautiful largemouth. Great pattern. Um, and I saw this fish. I'm on a super shallow spot of this lake with uh, I'm on a super shallow spot on this lake. Let me fix this a little bit. And there's a bunch of bluegill beds right here. Look at this. 17 and a quarter. Man, I'm gonna take this fish all day. Beautiful fish, beautiful. I'm going to take some quick picks and uh, get you guys all situated back. Then we'll release this big bad Larry right here. Man, uh, it's been a grind. What did I catch that fish on? Some of you guys are probably wondering, hey, what do we do? Well, yes, I'm uh, out here and I'm looking for trout and I'm looking for white perch. So I am throwing my BFS combo. This is the smallest profile I've thrown all day today. I got the Bronco blade, Bronco blade with the workhorse jig and I'm using these little tiny inch and a half plastics from Jackal. And the reason is the bluegill are on beds and they are tearing apart my Kytex. And this is a little bit more uh, durable. So I'm letting this guy go. And uh, I spotted this fish up on uh, cruising by these bluegill beds and I took a cast at it. He didn't seem to want anything to do with it. I cast it a little bit further up and he just smacked this sucker. And then uh, it took me for a ride, pulling and drag and everything. So. We'll get some picks, we'll make that happen. Thank you. I appreciate you here, bud. Thank you. Yeah. Guys, I'm sorry I wasn't recording. I just got off the phone with who the fuck is Joe Brown? And he gave me a tip to find some brown trout and uh, I'm out here fishing that spot and I caught this largemouth. Absolute tank, smaller than the one that I last caught, but man, bit so hard and look at this. I'm on this bait right here. Uh, come on. Uh, get him. There we go. 
This bait right here, this is a big Joshy, 2.75 swim bait on a Jig Masters perfected ball head jig. Man, what a great fish. What an absolutely fantastic fish, dude. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm gonna take a pick with this guy and uh, rock and roll. got a little bit of intel did pick up a pretty decent fish off there um, I had a few marks that were down low but they just were not biting a damn thing so I uh, I'm gonna take advantage of this and I'm gonna call it and uh, grab some lunch and come up with a plan uh, with a plan for the second part of the day well guys I know I said I was probably gonna hit another spot today but I was just uh, stopped and I grabbed some uh, something to eat at uh, a local Cumberland Farms and uh, oh my god what is going on here there is some insanity happening what is going on East Brookfield yeah so I popped into uh, a gas station grabbed a quick bite to eat and a cold beverage and uh, figured I would I would look at some maps and figure out what the plan was see what um, species were around in you know the area what I should do and you know here it is it's it's just 1 p.m. right now and I put a good I think six hours into that first spot that I fished and I'm beat man I think that's all I got so um, we're gonna go to the dispensary and we're gonna have a wonderful Saturday night that's the plan uh, I have uh, an open day tomorrow we're supposed to get a quarter inch of rain um, but the trend lately has been, we seem to get this big, for, you know, amount of rain in the forecast, and then it sort of like just kind of dwindles to like it's maybe a fraction of what was initially forecast. Anyway, I had uh, had decided it was probably going to be, um, you know, tomorrow is probably going to be a wash. We'll see what happens if uh, it's that changes. It could change. Here's hoping. And uh, the rest of the week actually looks pretty good. So I'm going to be hitting it pretty hard. And we'll see what happens. Told you we were going to make it a really nice Saturday night. You guys have yourself one hell of an evening as well. I'll see. You. All right. I'm a big fucking liar. Uh, I am doing a second send today. It is uh, going on 8.30 at night. And uh, I talked to my buddy Paul and I said, look, I said, uh, I am doing dinner with the kids. And after that, I have nothing planned on this Saturday evening. And uh, my wife, uh, with all of her expert knowledge uh, that she has and maintains, decided to work uh, a double today at her old job. Um... So, yeah, she is going to be working until, what, 7 a.m., I think? So, I'm, uh, you know, the girls are hanging out at the house, doing their thing. They might go for a ride and get some ice cream later. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so we're going to go and we're going we're gonna to see if we can't get a little topwater bite. We're going to do a little bit of whopping and some plopping, and I'm sure throw in some poppers and a few other things. And I'm not even bringing my uh, catch board out for this because uh, I, I'm pretty positive where we're fishing. All I'm going to be hooking up with, with our uh, other largemouth, they're probably not going to beat what I've already got in there. So uh, just going to have some fun. Uh, maybe cash in a little bit on uh, some of those treats I picked up earlier at the Dispo. And we'll see you guys uh, later on if uh, we catch any fish. Who knows? If not, see you next video. All right, here's the deal. You didn't see any fish catches because there were zero fish caught. Not a not so I can't say not so much as a nibble, but uh, that was that was really it. They wanted none of my bullshit today. Uh, 
Paul is coming by. He didn't get so much as a as a whack on any of the presentations he threw. So here we are. We had a good time anyway. Definitely, definitely enjoyed some herbal refreshment. And that uh, stop this afternoon paid off well. Thumbs up to Night Moves. We'll see you guys.